And so what we find then from at least an Islamic perspective is that there's multiple paths out there. There's not just one path that, you know, that's written for you. And so when we're making a decision, we think, you know, Ya Allah, is this what is right for me? Is this what is right for me? That's a great du'a to make. But there's also other things that are also right for you at the same time. And so what we find, um, and, and this is um, sort of from classical books, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wrote your life, your destiny in like a storybook, right? He was like, Ibrahim does Islamic economy idea, this is what's going to happen to him. Ibrahim does normal economy idea, this is what's going to happen to him. Both of those were written. Now he'll never be forced to pick a choice. It's up to him, it's up to you, it's up to you to make that choice. But all of these possibilities are written. And so I found this super helpful because when you are deciding between two ideas, two startups, two business models, um, two marketing strategies, right? There's so many ways you can cut and dice this. Maybe both of them are correct and it's just up to you to decide on which one it is that you actually want to go through. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't write your story in commands. He didn't force you but he wrote it descriptively, and that's really important to understand.